Hello, hello, Purpose Driven Entrepreneurs. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing well and uh, you're having a great week so far. I'm coming on with a, a black and white filter today. I'm testing out all the filters um, here in my, in my live. So as I'm waiting for um, those of you that are available to join, and I know Julia actually uh, put up a notice in the groups. So I hope that you have received the live notice. I see Neka has received her notice. Thanks so much, Neka. I hope uh, you're doing well as well. Thanks for joining. Um, if you are not receiving any of the notices inside the group, I would highly encourage you to go into the notification setting and turn on uh, notifications for all posts inside the group so that you don't really miss out any other amazing content uh, that we are always sharing in here so that we can add value. That is always the mission and purpose of our group with one another and also the things that we create um, and all the things that we do here. So um, I am personally on a spring break. We have spring break here in New York. Um, the kids are off school. Um, I have a house. I, I live in Brooklyn, one of the boroughs, as I've shared before, and I have a vacation home in the Poconos, Pennsylvania. So if any of you are uh, familiar with that, let me know in the comments if you ever been to Poconos. So if you heard of that, uh, we had snow here. I shared it here in my stories not too long ago, two days ago. So uh, we had snow here, so it doesn't feel like spring break. <laughs> Um, but because we are higher up here, um, it was beautiful. The kids uh, got to um, do their snow sledding uh, in April, and uh, they're able to have fun that way as well. So uh, we made it work for sure, and today is actually beautiful weather here. So um, that is the kind of week I'm having, and uh, the week is always flying by as usual. So I wanted to come to you today with another important topic that I think will be very valuable for a lot of you purpose-driven entrepreneurs that have teams and you have um, and you have grown your businesses and have team members that you are um, that you you have under you and uh, you might be wondering how is it that you know you can make sure that your team is productive and also your team really buys in your vision and mission of your company. And most importantly, how your team can stay engaged and can really be a contributing member to your culture and to your company. And most importantly, of course, be a great resource for your clients, depending on what their position is. Um, in my experience, this was one of the things that I've enjoyed the most doing, whether I was building teams in cor at corporate or I build my own team. I love to, um, you know, engage and really um, make the, um, the people on my team really understand and buy in the bigger mission and vision of what I'm trying to accomplish so that they see um, that they have a piece in the contribution, they are appreciated for the work they do, and of course, they'll be more engaged and more fulfilled with the work that they do. I have personally seen, you know, the effects of having team members, um, uh, you know, um, or maybe the effects of, you know, um, pay when it comes to motivating team members, right? Because um, as far as pay, even personally, um, when we get paid, we only get motivated by, you know, the, maybe five, 10 minutes or for like the week. And then of course, to keep, you know, the legitimacy and the sustainability of longer term, um, commitment of your team you need to obviously they need to understand that their work is important and that they're contributing to the bigger vision mission that's what I have personally found has been the most effective the most effective way to keep people engaged um, with what you do as well so um, I'm gonna attempt to just share three um, strategies with you that I think will be very helpful in ensuring that uh, that happens. So the first one is to really tie in in your team communications that you have with your people to really tie in every activity that is done to tie in your bigger vision and mission with that activity. So the people that are working for you um, don't really, you know, have a clear sense of purpose. Right, I think that's the, the, the most important thing 
even us as business owners, we want to have a clear sense of purpose. So obviously when your team understands how they day to day, um, even tactical activities, things that they have to do, how those tie into the bigger pur purpose of your company and of your business, of course, uh, they will be more clearly uh, involved and they'll uh, be more productive with the work that they do because they understand how that activity as sometimes um you know routine as it might be um you know they understand that they have to do that because it ties into their to the bigger purpose of their positions or what they're trying to accomplish so i think that is one way that we can really um keep them uh, engaged and remind them how the work that they're doing now is actually contributing you know towards their ultimate purpose the next thing is really figure out what their personal why and story is um, and see how is it that you can help them bridge the gap between what their story and their why is in your company and your ultimate purpose vision and mission and that how that actually connects with your clients um, I've always educated my team members to really see client as king. I always say the client is king, right? Everything that we do, we do it for the client because at the end of the day, the client is the person that is going to pay the bills, that is going to pay their salary, and is going to create the resources so that we can make a bigger impact. So really putting the focus um, of their day-to-day -day activities to the ultimate purpose and who you are there to serve and how you serve is going to be really, really important in them understanding that uh, the focus and priority is always the client. But most importantly, again, is to really tie in their personal story and why to your companies. Um, that's going to be the way that you personalize um, that um, that motivation that they might have or their personal fulfillment uh, in achieving their personal goals. So for example, you know, they're, you know, getting, um, they're working for you because they might want to maybe get their own home for their family. So obviously that is a motivation for someone to work hard and to really be very focused in growth and contribute within your, in your company so that it can become product productive so they can buy that home for their family, right? So you know that is their personal why and motivation, maybe a short-term goal that they're working towards. And in your communication with that particular person, obviously that's going to be very crucial in you understanding that so that you can tie in everything they do to their personal goal, but of course to the bigger vision, mission, and purpose. All right, let me know if, um, I see here I have three people here on live. Um, so there's Julia there. So let me know if any of this is resonating. And if any of you have team members, let me know how many team members you have under you. Um, and uh, we'll open up that discussion for sure. Um, yeah, Julia, what is your why? Let us know in the comments. Absolutely, that's a great, um, that is a great conversation starter. Um, because like I said, it's really, really important to really connect that for people. So definitely uh, let us know in the comments with that as well. And for those of you that are going to replay this video live later on, definitely participate in the conversation. Everything is better and bigger when we actually join the fun at the party and we are having a great conversation so that I also can um, really have a clear idea as to how to personalize the content and everything that we share here so that it's more impactful for you. And most important is that it's value packed and you are taking that away and you are implementing it with your business as well. Um, the next, the third thing is to really um, tie in their position to revenue generation, right? Tie in their position to productivity. I don't know how many times I've coached so many leaders over my experience that, you know, really have a pain point over my employees are not productive. And when you go back, we don't have anything tied to the position, right? There's no revenue generating activity tied to the position. So of course the employee is doing the best they can, but because there isn't so much clarity 
over what are some of the outcomes that they're going for, then there is no clarity. And without clarity and any of these tied to the position of the person, then obviously, you know, we, we can track results. We can track, we can measure results. Um, what is it saying? I used to always use it that um, what you can't measure, you can't, um, what you can't track, you can't measure, you can't really change, right? Because it's not tangible. Uh, we have to be able to really um, have tangible results and attach a tangible result to the activity so that we can really go back and tweak and help one another out and really understanding what went well, what is it that we need to change, what is it that we need to um, tweak so that we get better results moving forward, right? Remember, we always talk about that. Everything is a process of improvement. So even with your team, um, everything is going to be a process of improvement in really making sure that they are effective. And at the end of the day, um, our team members want to be effective, right? That is the good news because as human beings, we want to know that our work matters and what we're doing is actually having an impact. So um, not only will you position them really well um, within your company, but also they will feel so much better that they're doing work that matters. And most importantly is that they can see the results and the impact of their work. And that is uh, many times motivation enough to keep going. So that is a third thing for sure. And I see Dorina also joined. Hello, Dorina. Long time no here. I hope you're doing well. Um, and uh, most importantly, I know you're also part of a team. So definitely let us know in the comment what your personal why is and your mission with what you're doing. But also, do you have team members? And how are you um, instilling that they really are productive and are really uh, buying into that the purpose of your um, service with your clients that is um, always key um, I also want to remind you we have uh, amazing free 90 minute training that I'm conducting here in two weeks April 29 at 2 p.m. Eastern where I will speak about the biggest pain point that I know entrepreneurs go through as they're building their businesses, which is a warm lead generation. You know, how do we build an ecosystem? How do we tap into our ecosystem of our audiences? We talk so often here over making sure our audience is the right audience and how to really build quality audiences um, but most importantly like I said how to really tap into this warm ecosystem so that you can serve people at a higher level and you can create that consistent foundational income for your business um, so that you can make a bigger impact so join me on April 29 Julia will put in the information in the comments um, uh, when is that happening and also how to register and um, I would love to see you all there. So I will let you go, my friends. Uh, thanks so much for those of you that joined and looking forward to seeing comments um, on replay as well. And I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you here next week. Bye everybody, take care.